There is no path forward for the House bill. The only path forward is to a bill that has an agreement. Shutdown, showdown. Congress and the president have one hour to make a deal before the government shuts down. Plus, holiday travel, the record number of people out there on the roads. An Arizona state representative failed to follow instructions during a field sobriety test. I'm Kim Powell with the newly released dash cam footage. Speeding, tasing, and headbutting. It's all part of a wild DPS car chase. I'm Spencer Blake, bringing you this newly released video. Plus, Corgi versus Coyote, the battle back which has one family thankful for their daring dog. I'm Brianna Whitney. Tonight, a 67-year-old man sets a record for hiking the Arizona Trail back and forth. How many hundreds of miles he hiked? That story coming up. 3TV News at 9 starts now. possible that we'll have a shutdown. I would say the chances are probably very good because I don't think Democrats care so much. The president will try to do his best to blame Democrats, but it's flatly absurd. President Trump called for a shutdown no less than 25 times. I am proud to shut down the government for border security. Now it's up to the Democrats as to whether or not we have a shutdown tonight. I hope we don't, but we're totally prepared for a very long shutdown. President Trump, you own the shutdown. There are not the votes in the Senate for an expensive, taxpayer-funded border wall. So, President Trump, you will not get your wall. And on this Friday night, we are now less than one hour until the East Coast midnight deadline. The government is almost certain to shut down. That's because the House and the Senate, they left for the night after President Trump demanded money for his border wall. Not clear what's going to happen next for Republicans on Capitol Hill. The vice president and other White House officials are sticking to President Trump's demand for $5 billion to expand the border wall. Just last week, the president said he'd be proud to shut down the government, but today he is placing the blame on Democrats. The House passed a bill which included wall funding, but the Senate would not even vote on it. There is no path forward for the